So we've got 10 more project management applications that we're going to dive into ready for 2022, hoping to help you find the best project manager for you. Now, if you missed out on our first video, we dived into some great all-rounders, and these are also great all-rounders too. However, they do have some special abilities in each of these applications that we'll try and extract for the best possible situation for you. So if you're new here, hit subscribe. We're a channel that dives into lots of productivity software reviews. And you can also check out our brand new project, Bento, which is set to be released very soon. You can find and sign up to it in the description below. So the first of our applications is Taskade. This is a Y Combinator project that has launched a few years ago now and has grown pretty rapidly into what they're calling a one unified workspace. Now, it does have a wide variety of flexible views, including board, Gantt, and even mind map view. And a lot of people like this because you can do video chat for it, but also manage your own personal to-dos and notes in one location. So Taskade gets a lot of good street rep, and as you can imagine, a good all-rounder application on the market. Now, our second project management application is Liquid Planner, and this has been in the market for some time now, and they call it an intelligent version of a project management application, and it does have some intelligent functions inside of it, allowing you to save some valuable time and effort, but it really presents itself as a Gantt chart application that, as you can imagine, helps you to visually organize some of the work that you're planning and Although it won't win any design awards, it did get a new clean look four months ago, and it definitely took a lot of the bulk and weight out of the previous designs. However, still left to be desired against applications like Clickham and Monday, but as you can imagine, they're much more modern in their design approach than this one. Now, third on our list is Nifty. And uh, very much like many of these applications, it's nifty <laughs> to help you to get organized as a team. Now, as you can imagine, Nifty is a fairly new one to the market. It actually got rated the top project management application according to G2, but I haven't been able to find out what year that was. We did a separate re review on Nifty fairly recently, and it does look if from a glance like Asana and the sort of Gantt complexity blended into one application, but it's really popular with development. So that's something that might be helpful to help you work out which one it's most suitable for. But it does really does have some great Gantt abilities that look pretty interesting and rival the like of ClickUp. So next up is Smartsheet. And again, been on the market for some time and a name I've heard a couple of times and they present a sheet-like experience that allows you to capture data and really just bring it into one database and location. But they do present the information in a wide variety of views, including Gantt, Card, and Calendar. And a lot of people are liking this because of its centralized way of capturing in a sheet. And they combine it with automated workflows as well for an apparently dynamic approach to work. So an interesting one from Smartsheet and the way that they've taken on project management. Now, next up, again, another one that keeps popping up over the last few years is Proofsheet. It's changed in its designs for many times, but they're trying to call it a project management and collaboration tool for high functioning teams. And whilst against an application, say like Basecamp, that is much more designed for remote teams, or say an application like ClickUp, that is an all-rounder application. It doesn't have anything noteworthy. However, it does have a great way to manage your tasks inside of an experience. And it's really a lot sort of more cost-effective in some ways than some of these other large applications. But it does have a nice dashboard and it sort of looks like a blend between Meistertask and Basecamp if you're looking for something like that. Now, next up is Zoho Projects. Now, Zoho Projects is an interesting one because Zoho create a suite of products. For example, they have a CRM, they have a notebook, and many, many more in that lineup. So much like Microsoft, you're buying into a system. But Zoho Projects allows you to manage your projects 
in a software, keeping track of them, allowing you to collaborate and planning ahead. And much like in that sort of Microsoft ecosystem, you can naturally sign into a price plan that best suits you and your team. If you're really tied into the Zoho ecosystem, this might be best suited for you. Now, next up is Airtable. Now, Airtable has been on the market for some time and it has got a lot of credibility with those who are looking to connect information and build the perfect workflow inside of the, the one application. And this is really represented so well by Chris Dancy. In a video we did a few years ago now, he dived into how he set up his Airtable. And even for a personal use, bringing in that much information at one given time is a really impressive way and it demonstrates how well Airtable build their integrations. Airtable also put a lot of time and effort into developing templates and something called they called the universe to help you really build uh, the sort of best Airtable experience in one. Now, next up, similar to Airtable to some extent, but also similar to Notion is Coda. And I actually didn't mention this in the first one because I thought it was a bit more advanced in terms of its need for setup and need for build. They have two separate plans inside this application, one for uh, builders and one for editors. So you can see the level of complexity, I guess, to how you can set this up. But once you get it set up as a powerful document, it can knock your socks off because it's got some great abilities in terms of being able to manage stuff, automate and be able to create these systems and workflows that can save a team a ton of time. And what I'm talking about here is small things like in document templates, all the way to the integrations that you set up inside of Slack to notify people when something's done. It's really small things that add up to a lot of time saved when you're in the office. Next up is Zenkit. Now Zenkit actually have a, a project management application. They have a note taker, they have a to-do list application, they have a chat application. They are building a suite of applications and inside of their main Zenkit projects application, they have a whole wide variety of uh, abilities, including Kanban, powerful filters, mind mapping functions, hierarchy, subtask, everything that you can imagine. And it's actually quite popular for agile um, teams. It's actually becoming uh, one of those uh, tools that they sort of recommend for that. However, its design isn't as attractive um, as some of their other products, but it does present you with a way to connect to their other services. If you're buying into their suite or buying into their ecosystem, this could be a good add-on experience. Now, next up is MeisterTask, and this is more advanced task management level. However, MeisterTask presents a great way for you to be able to manage your tasks in Kanban view. It doesn't have much more complexity than that, but as you can imagine, you can go into high level of detail on the task and be able to manage a project fairly easily within a team. So again, I'd probably more recommend this for a smaller team, but again, it has a really colorful and a vibrant approach to project management. So folks, those were 10 extra project management applications that might be best suited for you. If you would like to subscribe, it'd be amazing to have you here in this community. So hit subscribe and uh, be back for another video very soon. And I hope to see you in the comment section as well. So feel free to comment below with your favorite one as well. Thank you very much, folks. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio. Bye.